Hey y'all, it's Sunday. Um, I have been adding captions to my videos today um, and in past couple of days because I kind of got behind on that. Um, which, by the way, is a lot of work. Um, but it's important work. Um, if you don't know, um, captions or subtitles um, are really important for accessibility because um, not everyone can well, one, not everyone can hear, so if you add a tra um, subtitles or captions, it means that people who, who can't hear can listen to it. It also means for someone like me, for example, um, I can hear, but sometimes it's really hard for me to follow verbal information or just listen and, and make sense of the words. They don't necessarily, it just sounds like a foreign language, even in English sometimes. Um, they're also helpful for... Um, people who are, um, it's not their first language, um, th there's a lot of different people, captions and subtitles can be really helpful for, so it's really important to have them, um, and, like, on TV, um, you know, there's, there's laws about having, um, captions available for stuff like that, but on YouTube, there, there really isn't. Um, YouTube has auto-captioning, and it's atrocious, it's, it's hilariously bad. Um, I'll link below to um, some caption or auto caption fails, which are really bad. Um, Rhett and Link have a bunch of videos they've done before where they create a video and then put it on YouTube to get the auto captions, and then they act. They then use the script from the auto captions, and it's funnier. And they also done it with some songs too, um, because it's very bad. So you can't rely on auto captions, and I think a lot of creators do or don't really even think about captions at all, um, but there is a way. Um, if a creator um, sets it up, you can actually add captions even if the creator can't be bothered to do it themselves or just doesn't have the time. Um, I, all of my videos have the option, sh or all should have the option for anybody to contribute um, a, a transcript which can be used for um, captions. Um, and you can also do that in other languages too, so you can even translate other people's videos if you're fluent in more than one language. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link below to how to get that from your dashboard, just to just look for any videos. But also in any video, if you click below on the desktop version of the site, there's a button that says more. And if you click on that, um, there's options for um, the transcript, um, or you can just click to transcribe. If you click on the one that says transcript, it'll show up the transcript if there is one, and it'll give you options for language, and you can click the language, this, this is assuming there's already a transcript, um, and it, one of the options will be add subtitles or closed captions, um, and if you click on that, it'll then take you to the thing um, to let you add that in for a video. That only works if the creator has enabled it, though. Um, it's not automatically on, it's automatically off. So creators have to enable it, um, and I think a lot of creators don't even know it exists. Um, but that's on on my videos. If you want to help me add captions to the videos that are currently missing it, you can go do that. I'll put the link for that below. Um, or if you want to translate my videos, if you happen to be fluent in another language, um, I mean, you could do that. I don't expect that anyone would because it's... I have a very... I, yeah, I don't expect that, but... Anyway, it's an option if you were bored and wanted to practice language. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, stay awesome, y'all. Bye!